Hello and welcome to the 16th tutorial in the JavaScript basic series and in this tutorial we're going to look at logical operators. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 2. If you haven't there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So logical operators, we looked at comparison operators last time uh, we're going to be using them in conjunction with comparison operators so let's just go ahead and open up a text data then open sorry about that then open up the files from tutorial to and once that's done we just want to go up here and we're going to create two new variables it will be x equals Actually, no, we don't need to create any variables. Uh, we can just do it in here. And if you watched the previous tutorial, you'll know, like I said, we did comparison operators. So we did something like, I don't know, um, 5 equals equals 5. If we run that in a web browser, that will validate as true because 5 does equal 5. But uh, perhaps you want to do multiple checks, multiple conditions, and instead of doing multiple like lines, you can simply do and and, and that says both conditions have to validate to true. So and and, I'm gonna put eight equal equal to nine. Because five does equal five, but eight doesn't equal nine, this is gonna validate to false because both conditions aren't true. Refresh and it says false. And if we go back, I'm gonna just change this to eight you'll say true because both conditions are now true. You can also do the or operator, which just, oh, sorry, uh, which just says one condition has to be true. So if we just refresh, it's true. But if we were to change this back to nine, even though this condition isn't true, the one on the left is, and that's enough for the or operator. Refresh and it says true. So this is pretty cool. And then you can also do, one second, there's something called the not operator as well. Um, we won't use it in here. What we'll do, we'll do var x equals true. And we'll do, uh, we'll print out x and we'll put the not operator in front of it. And when we do that, it basically reverses it. Uh, if we refresh and now we get false, even though it was true so that's pretty cool as well and um, logic operators as we mentioned will be used with comparison operators like this in conditional statements heavily which we'll be covering in the next tutorial that's it for logical operators all the required source code will be in the description via links if you have any questions feel free to message us and as usual thanks for watching